Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. Now, this is not a business for wimps, and I am not one. I think I've got a reasonable sense of humour, too. On Friday, when Gordon Ramsay made fun of a little mole on my face in a taped interview, I laughed along and was happy to see it go to air. But that was nothing compared to the attack he unleashed on me the next day in front of 3,000 people who'd come simply to see him cook. I have no idea what prompted his outburst, which continued yesterday and again today. We've not spoken, and I have not responded until now. Gordon Ramsay has always had fair and generous treatment on this program, but despite what his publicist said in Damage Control, we do not have a great relationship. We have no relationship at all. I've played along with him in interviews because it's entertaining and that's my job. And I walk away afterwards and I don't think about him again. Last week, his publicists stipulated obsessively that his interviews on this trip not include questions about his marriage and private life. We all know why. I respected that request. But it appears with Ramsay that respect is a one-way street. On Saturday, he launched a series of unprovoked public attacks against me. I'm not going to pretend that his comments didn't hurt. I was absolutely miserable when I found out late Saturday afternoon. He says it was a joke. Well, not to me or to anyone who cares about me. Truly, I wonder how many people would laugh if they were effectively described as an old, ugly pig. How is that funny exactly? And worse, it's not even witty. I spent all yesterday considering how to respond and I honestly thought about saying nothing at all. But we all know bullies thrive when no one takes them on. And I'm not going to sit meekly and let some arrogant narcissist bully me. And just finally, Gordon Ramsay made me promise not to ask on Friday about his private life. He then got on stage on Saturday and made some very clear and uninformed insinuations about mine. Obviously, Gordon thinks that any woman who doesn't find him attractive must be gay. For the record, I don't. And I'm not. But I'm not surprised by any of this. We've all seen how Gordon Ramsay treats his wife, and he supposedly loves her. We're all just fodder to him.